activity by sending SMSs to a criminal number um, or, or in some other way helping out criminals. We don't want to do that. So this is a quick, a real quick app that we put together to illustrate the risk from Trojanized apps, from apps which request too many permissions, um, or for apps which have been specifically designed and planted for espionage purposes. Okay? So I have to go under the desk because when I had the phones here, I had this big white reflection on the screen so you couldn't see anything. So you'll still hear me, but I'll be down here. Which is good because I'm a bit shy, so it's nicer down here. Um, so what you've got here right now, you've got my personal iPhone on the right, which is really confusing because it's on the left here. How did that happen? Okay, on the right, you got this is my personal iPhone. Uh, and here, this is a stock uh, Google Nexus S running ice cream sandwich, uh, not rooted, straight vanilla install, okay? Um, it's infected. So if we look on here, there's a very obviously bad looking app. I don't know if you can read the name or not. You can see the Trend Micro logo there. Uh, the app is called Spy Spy Spy. <laughs> it's, a, it's not called the tennis juggling game, but it's called Spy Spy Spy. But, so that app is installed. Um, but if I look in the settings on the device, you can see that it's been downloaded. Uh, but we've designed it so that actually it looks like there's no app running. And of course, with Android, what you can also do is you can tell an app that you don't want it to display an icon uh, once it's been installed. So you could just make it completely invisible if you wanted to. Okay? So it looks like it's not running. It is running. Um, so why, why is that a concern? Well, I've never used an iPhone without actually holding it in my hand. This is kind of confusing. By the way, that pin, I was very clever. I changed it before I gave the presentation. I'll change it back afterwards. Um, I know you're all sitting there going, no, you know, it's pin now. You don't, all right? Um, so I'm gonna just send an SMS from my iPhone. Unfortunately, you can't read them, but you'll see the reaction. So I'm sending an SMS from my iPhone to the Android, and it just says, um, this is your master. Okay, so we sent this is your master to the Android. Because the app is running, that SMS never appeared on the Android because that app is deleting any SMS that's incoming from the master. What it has just told me is my balance just went down because it sent an SMS reply. This is a pay-as-you-go phone so that we can see when activity occurs, right? If it was a contract phone, you wouldn't see anything. Right? So we just got a reply that you can't read, but the reply says, I'm ready to serve you. Now, I have a, a few functions built into this app, which should be very concerning, uh, particularly in an enterprise environment, or uh, if you have uh, a suspicious uh, wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend. Uh, it could be used for any of those kind of purposes. Um, so if I send the command, uh, let me get the right down here. Here we go. So, I knew I'd get fat fingers. I'm really hoping nobody phones me while I'm doing this. So, I send another command to the phone. Obviously, no SMS will appear on the Android because it's deleting any incoming command uh, SMSs. But I've just said SMS spy enabled. So now what's happening on the Android, any incoming SMS is being grabbed and written into storage. If it has an SD card, it'll put it on the SD card. Obviously, with this phone, it's just writing it to the internal storage. I can send another, another command, call spy enable. It's another command that we've built in. When a call spy enable is done, then any incoming phone call, it records the microphone side of the phone call and puts it in storage. So great for espionage. I don't have to activate it every time. I just turn on the function, and every incoming call is recorded. Um, I have another very worrying function on there as well. So let me try this one. Um, this command is monitor, if I should type without making mistakes, monitor now, and then a number. So monitor now one. 
I just sent to the device. Um, so what that what that's done immediately is activate the microphone on the Android handset. So for the next one minute, the Android handset is recording everything. So if we're in a, a boardroom meeting and you put your handset on the table, and I know that you're in the meeting, monitor now. 60, I'm going to record one hour's worth of meeting and have all of your corporate secrets. All of that stuff is written to internal storage. Um, 